there. See, I'm live on camera right now. Hey, th thanks. How was the market? Good? Yeah, I got the first three and walking around with my girlfriend. And then we'll come back. You come back and look some more? Yeah, right. we'll see. I'll see you over there. All right, man. Bye-bye. Hey, good morning, everyone. Ryan Feathers, Lee Pigeon Auctions. Hey, look at that. Right when it right when it started, hopefully you guys can hear me. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we were at the Lira Market this morning. Let's throw up the comments. Remember, Feathers Lee Pigeon Auction site. What is it about? It's about making you guys aware of the pigeon world, sort of, isn't it? Isn't that what kind of it is? Yeah, we do some great auctions. We take you on some great loft tours. We meet you to some great people. Or, hey, I should never say great people. I should say pigeon people. You decide if you like them or you don't. You learn from them what you want. Take and uh, enjoy. There's the man, Ben Zurin. Alfred. We had a little, he's a bad man. He, he gave me a burger that's about the size of my head. That was a tricky one to eat. Tricky one to eat, 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 eat. I seen Alfred's new mini loft. Again, it's going to be fun to see how Alfred competes this year with his new little mini loft. The mini loft versus the big loft. Kind of fun. Handled some fantastic birds at Alfred just did. And we were kind of busy photographing. Very lucky, man. Whew. All of his Olympiada pigeons. And that's right. Not only his Olympiada pigeons, but his little Hennessy dynasty. Henny, Hennessy. That's Hennessy. That's a drink. Henny dynasty. But it came out as Hennessy. So anyways, as we walk to the market, it is drizzling shitty. <laughs> Yesterday was an absolute beautiful day. Real, real nice. People from Germany, they said hi. I always like those people from Germany. They always seem to be quite nice to me. Everyone's nice to me. I don't have to worry. Some would say, hey, I'm Ryan, and no one likes me, except for once I get on a plane and get over here, it becomes a whole new, different game. Again, guys, we're going to come to the market. I don't expect to see much today after last weekend. Last weekend was the Houghton Fair, bus loads of people. So this is the last weekend at the Lear Market. It runs for, I think, four Sundays. I think the last week of February, March, something like that. Hopefully you guys can hear. Again, we're just going to look. Maybe Alfred maybe wants me to get him a, a pair here for his little loft. I always like, here's this big church. You always know, this is the easiest place. Whenever you come here, you just put in Lear. And you're going to see this, this thing. And you just drive to it. This is where this is. This is where the pigeons are. Okay, this is where the pigeons are. Robert Hamilton. What's going on, my friend? Again, awful gray morning. Let's see how many people are here. Racing pigeon loss. Look at this. Let's just give a shout out to this guy here. Uh, what is this? The, the Christi, Christy Daniels Consume Pigeon Loss. Good job. Come on, Alfred. You got to get outside the box, man. Get that Porsche over here in a minute and we'll... He could be here in less than, I think, an hour. And, no, what did we say? Two hours. Two hours to leave. There's more people here now. There you go. My, my eyes are itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. My eyes are always itchy. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Come on, Alfred, you can pick one. Alfred, we should have came here with six youngsters. That's what we should have done. We should have had some fun, Alfred. And if you guys have questions, let me know. Yeah. 
What's going on, Mike Green? The checker, yeah, that's what I said too. This is the one. Me and Alfred have the same taste in pigeons. Alfred says the checker. Let's see. Let's handle the checker, shall we, guys? Let's see. Hold on. We're going to rotate the camera. Hold on a second. Remember they say never handle pigeons with gloves on. Uh, hold on. It's not bad. Two brothers. Looks like a hen to me. And just like that, we got a good eye. Those two both feel nice. Both. Both feeling good. Yeah, nice. Those two good quality, man. Soft, silky feathers, nice round bodies on them. Let's take a look at the next crate. There you go, Alfred, the red pie, eh? <laughs> Nice birds here, yes. At the Lear Market. We keep. This fellow, Chris Hebert. Again, guys, so there's lead pigeon auctions right now. Xavier Verstrada with the champion two bloodlines, Chris Hebert. Here we are. Good, good. Good morning. Gisteren is er nog eens een vier mensen van Duitsland thuis geweest. Ik heb elk jaar een vorig jaar in die was het twee of drie jaar. En dan is er ook van tussen mijn vliegdagen deze. Ik hou er anders niet van. Ik heb niet zo'n vliegdagen, maar ik 
What's going on, my friend? Every time I see you here with only six. Last time you were over there with, you were there with the pies. Second time that I came over here. Yeah. Second time. Well, I come once. But that's the time I saw uh, my first round. Uh, when the youngsters are 15 days old, yeah. I have separated. But there are two hands. They yeah. have both eggs. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah, I have a lot of breeding and I have uh, four youngsters in front. And my other pigeons have I set later together. And uh, then, then have I. You, you close to here? You live close here? Yes. Yeah, you live? No. No, it's uh, on the Sander Law. Oh, Limburg. I see last time you sell them quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pies. Minutes, they, they they're here. They're... This checker's nice, eh? In the blue. What's the family? Yeah. Yeah. France, yeah, what's up, man? You're gonna like these ones, I think. Only, only, only English, yeah, only English. I come back, my friend. I let you do what you do. They were nice the last time. I didn't get a chance to hold them. He sold. He sold them like in five minutes. I, I was looking at a pie and I couldn't even handle it. It was gone. Good morning, Jake. Chris, Chris, I gotta come see you on Wednesday. We'll be with Chris Kinnerman. I think Chris wants me to get him a yellow. <laughs> Again, guys, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Not my cup of tea. There you see. Busy, busy, busy. Was in the best, eh? The 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 
Yeah, the older ones. Uh, anywhere from thirty to sixty euros for the young pigeons. Great show, thanks. Daniel Herman, what's going on? Keep rolling. Remember, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. Where are most of the pigeons from at the Lear Market? It's all different. It's all different. Well, look, these are all old ones. There you go, you see. See, there are some older birds. The Leo Herman baby's gone. Oh, yeah. There's everything, even nest bolts. <laughs> everything, of course. Some with, some without.
some look good, some don't. <laughs> Older birds. That's a nice little blue. Absolutely, they molt in the spring. Remind you guys to like, share, and subscribe. You can buy manual clocks here. They sell crates. You see all the different crates? All the different prices in the crates. The little ones look two bird, four bird, eight bird. Uh, all different sizes. So you don't even have to worry. You come here and just get a basket. I like these. Thank you, yes, no problem. Lots of people. People are... Hello. Uh, hello. Thank you. 
Mm. And there you see. <clears throat> Let's go and see if the guy sold out already. I bet you he is. Let's see. Just like that. I think. Oh no, he's still there. Let's see if the checker is still here. We looked earlier. There you see it, guys, at the market. <clears throat> this is a pretty shitty morning, but uh, hey, people are still coming out. Again, between 30 and 60 euros, roughly. Roughly, I think the number is about 40. For pigeon, you can see it here. Again, guys, let's not forget for this elite pigeon auctions, the oldest loft in Belgium, the Normans running it for this elite pigeon auctions right now. All bids are in Canadian dollars. Reminder to that. Also, Xavier Verstrata. And today, today we head to White Pigeon Off. Later in the morning, we'll be on with them. Geert and Theo Agents. We're going to head over there after this, this morning, go back to the hotel and uh, go back to the hotel and grab uh, grab my luggage. No way I go. See, they're just jumping, jumping baskets. Look at that. So you go from 600 to 1100, just like that. Where are you? We are at Lear Market. Let's see. I think I have the advert here. Uh, let's see. Where is the market logo? Hold on. Let me see. Where is it? Or did I remove it from my... I did. I removed it. Huh. That's okay. No big deal. Remember, guys, running right now at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions is Xavier Verstrata. And Nicholas and Philip Norman. Again, for North Americans, what is so impressive about the Normans? Not only did they win the million dollar race in South Africa. They also were the breeder of the pigeon that you all know, Wolverine. <clears throat> Producing hundreds of thousands of dollars of winners for my Gannets. That's right, guys. Wolverine. 
Now you have your opportunity to find your Wolverine. And again, you're at the market real simple. When you push in Lear, you just, the, the town center, that's where you'll, uh, that's where he'll, you'll come. You'll come right here. You don't need an address. Just type in Lear. Just like that, you will hit the market. Again, parking is not too bad. I don't have places to park. I could have parked in here, but I didn't. I parked down the street. No. No. Is he done? I think he's done. No, he's still got four. That's the checker I was looking at. Let's see. Yo, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. What's going on, bud? You like them? Nice one, eh? Yeah. She looks smart. Small, eh? How much does he want for her? How, how, how much? Yeah. How much? 50 euros. 50 euros. Ja, ja, ja. Hij is ook staan voor een bijenvis. Ja, ja, ja. 
Yeah. There you go. That's the one. <laughs> you went through them all, and that was the one, eh? Let's see. Maybe you'll let me hang on. Okay. Do you like them? No, yeah. not, not bad, eh? Small? Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. You go to freezing. Yeah. You go just like that, eh? Oops. That was a nice one. Very, very small. Boy, yes, legend. There you go. I don't know why my comments are a bit small here today, but they are. Let's see. I wanted to handle the checker, but I don't want to put the camera down. There's nowhere to put it down. Let's see if it's still here. If it's still here, then I haven't picked a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, the checker's gone. Again, guys, oh, getting more busy now. Boy, getting busier and busier and busier. Hey, how's it going, man? Good morning, Ryan from Germany. Hey, 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 good morning. Uh, let's see if I can rotate the camera. Another one I like to look up. There we go. Let me do this like this. Hold on, guys. How's it going, man? Good. Very good. Again, guys, we like what we do here at Feathers League Pigeon Auctions. It's all very easy to import to the United States. Importing is easy. Again, all the Feathers League Pigeon Auction pigeons that you see have been imported by us directly. 
There you go. Not a bad little pigeon. And again, we are here at the market. More and more people coming. More people. And more people. And more people. And more people. Let's see if the checker is still here. Still there. Importing birds into North America is roughly between two hundred and fifty and three hundred and fifty dollars. Depends on who does your importing. And again, always with importing, there's never any guarantee. It's funny, all, a lot of these pigeon guys, they all over the elk come from Pirates of the Caribbean. You ever notice that? Or is this just me? It don't matter. I'm only having a bit of fun. I'm only having a bit of fun. But all the pigeon men, I swear we all have like Pirates of the Caribbean here. <laughs> Shall we? Hold on, let's see if I can do this. Another word. Thank <laughs> you. 
And just like that, we roll through another. Yeah, everyone with the baskets. No. I don't know how long the market's been going, but I would say ooh, a long, quite a long time. If you look at pictures from like, I think the 60s or the 50s, it was like 100,000 times bigger than this. But just like anything, as the pigeon men get older and die off, you see less and less young people. Isn't it funny? I look, swear to God, I get out of the car and it's drizzling. Then you come here to the market and it stops. <laughs> you see? And by old birds, young birds, baskets, bowls. I've seen a few old clocks for sale. See? An old bander. Mm -hmm. Hello. Just like that. Oh, that was a that was a pretty good auction. Again, guys, for this lead pigeon auctions here at the market. Just stand back and take a look. This kind of neat, isn't it? You see. All the little pigeon men. There's the sellers and there's the buyers. Sellers and the buyers, eh? You ever wonder how many super pigeons were sold here? And I know some will say zero. I would guarantee probably a few hundred. <laughs> That's what makes it neat. You see hus husbands and wives. You see the husbands and wives even shopping together. Thank <laughs> you. 
And again, guys, Feathers Leaf Pigeon Auctions, we bring it to you. Mm. That old bird. I'm never really a big fan of the old birds. More fun to look at the young birds. And you'll know when you're when you're close. Because the roads are all cobblestone. See again. Fifty euro for a basket. 55, 55, 45, and that's coming to the market, we'll look at that basket, eh? fancy. Gotcha, man. That's oh, nice to see. Two young boys shopping for pigeons, eh? What we do is we'll we'll walk and we'll walk around here. Like I said, now you can go have breakfast. You know when you get here to the right spot, you're gonna hit the cobblestone road. Guaranteed. You just you'll hit the cobblestones and you're there. I'm going to take a quick little, just a little walk before we walk back around. <clears throat> Again, guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Feathers Leap Pigeon Auctions today. What do we got going on today? We got lots of fun. We're going to go to White Pigeon Lofts. Those Gabby Vanadabeel birds. I was there a few years ago. And we're going back. We're going back. We're going to... White Pigeon Loft, we're going to go there today, do a little sit down, chit chat, take a little look around. <clears throat> That's what we're going to do. And I believe we may even have a afternoon show, checking out the lots with Xavier Verstrada. I'm hoping to be able to get that all in today, guys. Oh, geez. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, baby. I'll go in there. See? Leave your baskets outside. Let's look at the pastries. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking daddy needs one of these, eh? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh my God. 
better than our film, but the <laughs> Better than the birds, eh? <laughs> I come back to eat. <laughs> I come back. Take it easy, guys. And you see, guys, oh boy, send me on there. Sounds like a busy day. Yes, Mike, we got some, it's a busy, busy day. I know if you're on the road, Mike, and Mike, if you were on the road and you hit this place, yeah, you could be crushing that. We're going to, we're going to swing back in there. I could sit outside and have one. Maybe we should do that. What do you guys think? Should we try something? Should we do, should we do a snack? I'm just going to walk down here and, uh, go from there again guys remember to like share and subscribe feathers elite pigeon auctions yes all the birds that you see at feathers elite pigeon auctions right now all the birds that's right every bird has been imported into north america by us feathers elite pigeon auctions we work alongside with our breeders to bring europeans very best pigeons into north america again we always try and bring as many direct children off of the supers as possible again take a look please take a look at the xavier Verstrada. take a look at your lot number one there you go take a look at the normans take a look take a look magic ivan bam and we're just gonna walk down here and just show you what do you think should we get something to eat should we get some pastry i think we should I think we should say hell with it. Let's send her home. I didn't want to do a little walk around. I hope I brought some cash with me. Look at how beautiful it is here though, isn't it something? <laughs> Just like that. Look at carrying pigeons home. Hello. Uh, like told Heather, I'm living in the wrong country. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're not living in the wrong country. You're enjoying your pigeons where you're at, and that's good. I think every country enjoys their pigeons, maybe a little different ways than each, but we're going to try some breakfast. Mark Johnson, what's going on? Okay, guys, what should we pick? I, I went into that bakery, and I, how can we say no? You see the quality in that bakery. Look at the nice buildings, though. Again, when you know you're at the market, you will hit the cobblestone road. It's kind of like the, what is it? Well, the yellow brick road, you know? Tony Hughes, what's going on? Oh, we got euros here. I got five euros. We got 10 euros, 20 euros. I got some, I got some small bills. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Facebook it up. Facebook it up. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get some pastry, guy. What are we gonna get? We're gonna even sit outside and eat it. Why? Because we might as well. That way, I don't make a, I don't annoy the shit out of people. Let's get something. We're gonna get something. And we're gonna sit outside. Ah. You see the people just just walking, walking and shopping to the market. We go. All right, let's order. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. We'll let them do the ordering first. What should we get though? I don't know. We gotta wait. So many people here in line. Ay ay ay. What's going on, Tony Hughes? As we wait, let the people do their ordering. There's the market there. Uh, 
I wish I was there again, mate. Yeah, it was nice seeing Tony Hughes. We're going to go in in a moment, get something up you can try. What do I want for? Let's see, let's go in. I'm going to need the 20. Thank you. I'm a raisin guy, so we're going to do that. I'm going to ask her what are her three best. Here we go. We're going to do some tasting. Should we get guys? What's your hello? Uh, hey, what are your three best that you make? Sorry, pick you, pick me, three you, you pick me, your three favorites. Let's see what she picks. There's no pressure on her at all. Okay, okay. I wish it was a table. Yeah, that's it. Four euros fifty. Oh, here. Don't want to go so Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you too. No, no, I sit outside. Good man. All right, guys. We got a little dry spot right here. This is where we're gonna go, right here. She's dry enough, dry to make this work. So here we go. We're gonna like, we're gonna share, we're gonna subscribe, but we're gonna try. How do I get a nice? So we're gonna try some pastries. I should have got a coffee or a drink, but I said, ah, oh, the hell with it. I told her to pick her favorite. What do they say? Always say, listen to the chef's choice. Her favorite. So, guys, let's take a look at what her favorite were. I have no clue at all. We're first going to go with this one. Oh, it's full of apple. You can never go wrong with apple. Very fresh. Mm. Okay. First one. Oh. Oh yeah. We're really kicking in now. It's so flaky and light. You got that strip of apple down the middle. So first one. Mm. 
We're going to do chocolate at the end. Four euro. Four euro, guys. Look about it. Every time I came here. Now, this one is loaded with some type of a, a custard. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Mm. Mm. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Loaded. Is this one better? All right. Is it a custard? Oh. We always save the chocolate one for the end. I was hoping she was going to take the raisin. Oh. Also, haha, ha, you're quiet. Well, I'm eating. Come on, Alfie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. I don't know how they make any money. I mean, they filled this thing from front to back. With that custard. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should have went with the coffee. Take it easy, buddy. Mm. Okay. Now we're down to the last one. And it's stuffed too. It's got some type of a, a cream. Oh, yeah. Same custard. But with the chocolate. It's like a Boston cream, but just better. Oh, yeah. Bad weather. Shitty weather. You see loaded. Like our man says, Tony Hughes, custard is our favorite. I haven't eaten this much sweets here in a while. I'm going to have a, uh, a sugar crash. They can tell it's good. Mm -hmm. oh, Tony Hughes, if you guys ever meet Tony, custard's his favorite. Let's not forget that, guys. Okay. I'm going to say... The... I wouldn't have done two custards. I wouldn't have done two. My chocolate custards club. They're all good. I should have got one with the raisin. But... And just like that, guys, because like, you're not actually mad. It's good. It's real good. It's real, real good, good. I recommend this place. It's literally... Hold on. We're going to adjust. We're going to make it. Literally. Mm. 
it's 50 feet from the market. So, now, you know, when you come, you go right there. Too many choices. Don't go with the double custard. Go with one custard. If you go with that middle custard one I had, it's so full, you almost custard overload. Back to back, back to back custards, that could kill you. Four euros. So I guarantee if you don't buy a pigeon, you come and you look around, it's still rammed, you can go and get some pastry. And you're not going to be disappointed. There's other places you can go. More and more people. People are still going there. Again, guys, so like, share, and subscribe. You see all the people looking and buying and enjoying what they're doing. Nice little town to walk around. I promise you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed. Again, some especially if you come from like North America, you'd never see little buildings like this or towns or there go the pigeon guys, there they go. Look at that car. Now that screams. Pigeon man. Oh, uh oh. I'm not feeling it right now, guys. I'm hurting. I'm on a custard overload. Tony Hughes, he did it to me. We're going to go back. I I'll tell you, if I was here on these days, I'd open up for the market. If it was me. We'll walk back to the car, and uh, again, a lot of good things going on at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Today, we're going to have a busy day. I want to go back and have like an hour sleep. I don't, uh, a lot of times here, I don't go to bed till about three or four in the morning. I always got people calling or messaging or whatever. Sometimes I just don't answer because, like, uh, you need a little break. <clears throat> Meet you again soon. Of course, Tony Hughes. Yes, I'm going to be in the UK. I am going to make a trip to the UK, I promise. And we always meet a lot of nice people on the, on the trip, on these trips. Uh, one of my favorites is always going to the shows. You go to the shows and you, yeah, there's big breeders and all that, but there's so many people that uh, say hi to me and they like what we're doing. Uh, you know, they say how great it is for the pigeon sport. I do think it's a great sport. It's just, uh, it's too bad it's not growing. But you never know. How do we grow it? We exercise it. We keep exercising the muscle. And remember, you guys help grow that. You're part of the muscle, right? <laughs> this is one part, and there's so many other parts to that muscle. <laughs> Like you can't go and start selling pigeons. You got to go get pigeons, learn how to train them, race them, get a good bloodline, get some results. Then you can sell. It's all a circle. I'm in. Uh, I'm in super sugar overload now. The custard, the goddamn custard. I wasn't gonna do it, eh? I wasn't gonna do it, but I knew if I didn't do it, you guys would be disappointed. So yeah, we're gonna. Head over to White Pigeon Loft this morning. I said I'd be there around 11. 
Geert and Theo agents, you're going to see one hell of a Gabby Venonabile. Um collection. Ryan, are birds bought at the market win any big races? Jesus. We'd have to ask. I'd have to ask some, some guys like Chris Clairbot or Willie Daniels. Maybe they wouldn't know. Oh. You know, I don't know. I'm sure there has to have been. There has to have been. There's no way. There's no way. There, there wasn't. No way there wouldn't be. I would assume. How many pigeons were? How many pigeons have been sold at the market? That's another question. Thousands, hundreds. I'm going over. Darren Mays to May Pigeons, th your thoughts. Is that what you asking me? You got this. Oh, Tony Hughes. Go over and say hi to Darren. I don't know if you'll see Josh there, but Josh is a pedigreed freak. Best place to be, yeah, best place. Make sure you uh, say hi to Darren for me. Interesting morning. Tony Hughes recommends the custard. Get only one with custard because there's a lot of custard and you're going to be custard. You're going to be custard out. You see my breath this morning. It's cold. It's chilly. It's damp. Is it not the nicest weather? Yeah, but hey, hell with that. We're in pigeon country, right? It's always the best of the best. We're going to be on a little bit later today. Remember, guys, head on over. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Check out the exquisite Xavier Vestrata pigeons again. You want those pigeons that can, can, can that can stay on the wing six to 10, 11 hours. These are the pigeons that do it. One day distances, man. Bang, 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 bang. They've been winning for years. They continue to win. Hey, his last reference was in uh, Dubai one loft race, fourth place pigeon, 50% Verstrata. There's another win for Xavier. Ask for Ike Icorn. Put one Xavier Verstrata bird in his loft. I think about $12,000 later, he's happy, ace pigeon. Irish Syndicate in America did some great things with the Verstrata Pigeons. Guys, so many people have won with Xavier's birds. Again, you don't need a whole bunch. You just need one. Just need one. One is all that it takes. And you guys heard of the pigeon Wolverine. Mike Gannis' pigeon. Bred by the Normans, okay? Bred by the Normans. The legendary Wolverine. We have the breeders. Nicholas and Philip Norman, the oldest pigeon family in Belgium. They are going to be on this week. Sit tight, hold tight. And so all I can say is, God, I love this job. I'm Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I love to stay in chat, guys. I got to get back to the hotel, grab my stuff, and keep driving. Why? Because we're going to White Pigeon Lofts. White Pigeon Lofts, this is where we're going. Geert and Theo, Theo Agents, I will see you in a bit. As I say, guys, I'm Ryan. Custard. Ooh, it is good. Thanks for flying with me, guys. Where's my uh, exit screen? I can't even find it. Oh, well. One in doubt, what are you going to do? Put up the man. Xavier Restrada. Thanks for flying with us, guys. I will talk to you in a bit.